everyone, my name is Mariana and today I'll be doing an art supply video. I went to Texas Art Supply yesterday. It's probably one of my favorite art stores. Uh, there, I don't know if they have them around Texas. I only know there's three in Houston. I don't know if they're like around the entire state. I picked up a couple of things, uh, especially watercolor stuff. So I'll just be showing you what I got. Okay, so I want to start with something that I always get every time I go there. Uh, and it's going to be this pen Pentel, Pentel? Pentel Sleazy uh, pen in black. It's 0 0.25, 0 0.25 millimeters. Um, but yeah, I always get this pen. It's super thin. I'll probably do a better close-up of this again. Um... But yeah, this is probably one of my favorite, favorite pens. I probably have or finished like five of them already. They're very inexpensive. I think they're like $2.50, $2.50. And since I'm a student, I get, a, I think it's 20% off once you show your, um, your student ID or your, if you're a teacher, you can also get a discount. So yeah, this is one of my favorite pens. I definitely recommend that if you like really thin, um, thin line um next three things i got i got the same one but in three different colors is a pilot g2 pen the, i think they're gel pens um i'll do a better close up later on excuse my nails actually <laughs> uh i'm too lazy to paint them but i think i already said that but these are the 0.7 and i got a pink one blue one and green one so the other day i don't remember who it was it was some illustrator uh on youtube she did most of her sketches i say sketches because they were too beautiful to be sketches uh with these pens and they look really really cute really nice uh these are really fun colors so um yeah i i thought i would give it a try um and i mean for notes i think they work good as well and i think i have the purple one already not too sure, but yeah. So the next thing I got is this uh, lead for my mechanical pencil. It's by Pacific Arc. Um, it's HB.5. I think that's how you say it. And I got this uh, mechanical pencil from an Art Snacks box. And I absolutely love it. I've been wanting one for like the longest and I never came around to buy it. Until I got it in the box and it's really heavy, which I love. Uh, it's metal and I love it so much. I don't know if they sell this at the store. I'm sure they do. It's at uh, Graph, Graph Gear by Pentel. But yeah, it's really nice. I love it so much. And the lighting just changed because the sun came out. Yay! And I'm not really a pencil person. I love uh, writing with pens. But um, I don't know. I just really like this pencil. Y'all can see all my crap right here. Ew. <laughs> okay, so the next few things that I got that these were the main things I wanted, and I ended up getting a bunch of other stuff. But it's just like a bunch of watercolors. And oh, excuse my furry kid, he's just being annoying. Um, I really don't know what's the difference between this ones and the ones that I already have. But these are the Winter and Newton Cotman watercolors. Um, and they're just really fun colors. There's like a pink, a blue, actually I'll give you the real colors. It's permanent rose, sarlene, blue hue, set green, mauve, mauve, black, black, and dioxidized purple. Oh no, yeah, dioxide, dioxide, dioxide. The oxygen purple. I don't know. But they're really nice and they're really, really cute. You can see they're super vibrant. And the, one, the ones that I already have, they're as well Winter and Newton, but they were more like, I guess, regular tones. Um, like red and yellow and blue and all those other colors. I took a watercolor class at the beginning of this year and I go like this because I just went there twice. It 
it was kind of crappy. I didn't like it. Um, but you know, what can I do about it? And then, um, the next thing I got, I shouldn't have gotten this because I don't need it, but I really, really wanted it. <laughs> Because I didn't know this existed, but this is the Settle Clay. Uh, it's instant pa paper mache. You just add water to this thing, and it's already paper mache. I remember when I was little, <laughs> growing up in Mexico, we had to make our own paper mache. <laughs> and this is so cool. It was, I think this was $8. Uh, you get a pound, and you just add water and just do it. Like... No more like tearing up the paper, adding the glue, adding the water, I don't remember what else. I think my grandma used to put like flour, like corn flour, I'm not too sure, but <laughs> this is so cool and it just, I'll, I'll show it to you I guess. It comes with instructions um, and uh, it's just this big thing. And you can tell it's paper because right here, well, I mean, it's a, ooh, yeah. it's supposed to be paper where you can see like the little part of the newspaper. It's so weird, but I'm really, really excited to try it out. And the last thing I got was this newspaper pad by XL, I think, Canson. Uh, and it's just newsprint, 100 sheets. And the reason why I got this is because I'm barely starting with figure drawing and most of them are pretty crappy at first and I didn't want to keep wasting my sketchbook paper for those sketches so um, I wanted to get better at it and I'm just I just thought that it would be a good idea to use a good newsprint and maybe make like a little sketchbook from this and yeah it's a lot cheaper I think this is like four or five dollars and it's just a hundred pages so it's pretty cool and that's pretty much it for this video uh, i hope you enjoyed looking at all the goodies i got at the art supply store uh i will be adding the new watercolors to my palette uh, as soon as this video finishes and i don't know maybe i'll do some uh painting slash drawing slash illustrating video next uh, i'm really excited to start this youtube channel oh if you didn't know, this is my first video on YouTube. If you have any questions, suggestions, please leave them down below. I'll be more than happy to answer your questions. And uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. I hope y'all are having a great day. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye!